around this time of year, the Christmas season, the depression sets in. And the only way to get rid of depression during the holiday season, at least for me, because I suffer greatly, is a cup of coffee. And to call crazy phone numbers. Have you ever just called somebody when you were younger? Did you ever call somebody and go, Hey, does your nose run and your feet smell? Uh-oh, you're built upside down. I never really did that. I just got a lot of that stuff from watching the Simpton, Simpsons. Simpsons? Simpsons growing up. But it made me think, it made me wonder... Is there any phone numbers you should probably never, ever, ever call? What better holiday video could you make than telling people phone numbers they should never, ever call? So that's what I did. I did a little bit of research and found out the most cursed phone numbers. That's how I'm bringing Christmas cheer this year telling you phone numbers that's a black cat by the way a black cat but my Christmas gift to you is to save your life to let you know that any of the numbers on this list you should never call them or if you receive a phone call from one of these numbers don't pick it up don't pick it up now I watched a lot of YouTube videos got a lot of phone numbers I did a little bit of Google research on these numbers, so I'm just going to explain kind of the phone number and what it is associated with and why you shouldn't call it, and I am going to uh, just put the warning out there. I don't know if I believe any of this stuff. I don't know if it's real. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I just, I'm just going from the research that I found on YouTube and doing a regular Google search, and uh, I could, well, this is a warning, a warning. Take it as you will. Some of you guys might try calling some of these numbers. Uh, do it at your own risk. That's all I got to say. I am not going to be calling any of these numbers. There is one number on here I probably would call, but I really don't have the time to deal with the aftermath of the phone call. And you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to jump right into it. No graphics. No doing this on my computer and putting, you know, the phone numbers up there and all this other stuff. And, and pictures of, you know, I'm, it, it, this is just going to be a straightforward video. And if you want any more phone numbers similar to these type, they're just a Google search away. So, uh, starting with number one. Now, a lot of these phone numbers are... In foreign countries so you will have to dial the country code so I'm not going to give you the country codes for every one of these phone numbers um, you're gonna have to just grab the country code yourself I, I picked I did put the country code down in some of them so if you do want to call it do it at your own risk phone number number one you should never call and I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this correctly so I'm just gonna kind of explain it for the people here in the United States because let's say you live in Japan, you already know what this is. And if you do live in Japan, you're probably going to make fun of my pronunciation of this. Those of you that have seen the movie The Ring, you'll remember that little girl that climbs out of the TV. It's a, it's a spirit. It's a ghost. And it's called a... This is where my pronunciations probably are going to mess up. A Sudoku? A Sudoku? S-A-D-A-K-O. Sadako. It is a horrific creature from another world. Anyway, if you dial country code 81-09-444-4444, that is an actual cursed phone number. And uh, if you call it, there is strange sounds, voices, and stuff like that that are associated with that phone number. I don't know. I'm not going to call it. The ring freaked me out. That Asian girl that climbs out of the TV, all long black hair and stuff like that, freaks me out. So I'm not going to call it. The phone number is supposedly cursed from Google searches. So take it as you will. 
You might want to call it, I don't know. Some of you guys are brave. I'm not. This is a, a, a phone number from Belgium. So if you're gonna have, I don't know the country code for Belgium, but it is supposed to be a very cursed number. The number is 0888888888. Supposedly, every person that's ever had this phone number has been shot and killed. And, and in drive-bys, in their homes, at their place of business. So many people have died that have actually owned that number that the phone company in Belgium disconnected the number. People have been known to call the number, supposedly, from my research. And uh, people that have called, even though it's been disconnected, supposedly have died. That's scary. Now, this number here, this is the one number I would possibly call from my research. Just because I know it's a Stephen King thing. Anyway, Stephen King wrote a book back in the day called Carrie. And Hollywood went and made a pretty awesome movie back in the day called Carrie. There is a phone number associated with the movie Carrie. And that phone number is one. You'd have to dial one because that's here in the United States. That is our country code. Uh, 204-04-2604. And uh, supposedly you call that number and uh, you hear some weird noises. I, 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 from what I researched on Google, you hear like whispers and stuff like that. And then it hangs up. Over the next three days, you're going to get random phone calls from different numbers. You're not going to know who it is. You're going to think it's a telemarketer or something like that. But one of the phone calls could be somebody getting murdered. One of the phone calls could be a girl crying. One of the phone calls could be your watch going off because you're getting a text message. That would be a curse. Here's another United States phone number. So country code one, obviously. You have to dial one and then the number. Uh, 216-333-1810. It's actually, uh, takes you supposedly, like I'm not going to call this number, but it supposedly takes you to a recording of a woman that was wiretapped being murdered. Nothing says Merry Christmas than calling a phone number tying into a phone that is wiretapped of a woman being murdered. Merry Christmas. Now, I do not know the country code for this. I, you're, I don't know. I could not find it on the internet. But the number is just 20202020. And when you call that number, supposedly, supposedly, you hear a girl begging and asking and pleading for her life to save it. Save me, save me. I, I don't know. I never heard it. I don't want to hear it. But supposedly it goes directly to a recording of that. And like I said, I do not know the country code. Maybe you don't need to type one in. Maybe you can just type that number in. Who knows? Now I have two more phone numbers before I get to the last series of numbers. The last series of numbers, hold on for those because those ones intrigue me. These other ones, I don't know. They may be disconnected, they may be connected. Even if they're disconnected, I would still be afraid of calling them if I was you. But like, but like I said, hold off until the last couple of numbers. I only got two more phone numbers to give you guys before we get to the last ones. And I'll give you the last ones as uh, do what you will with. All right. So this number is in China. Um, the number is one zero 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 zero. A male voice answers the call, and supposedly it goes to like a call center, but they keep your number. And then, uh, supposedly, I, I, I don't exactly know what happens here. It, what sounded scary is this call center, get your number. And everybody, 
everybody that calls this phone number, doesn't matter who, supposedly within the seven days of calling that number, everybody that calls that number dies. It's a cursed number that goes to a call center. Don't know how that works. My cat's up there talking to me, telling me, don't call, don't call any of these numbers. She's relaying that message to me to tell you guys, don't call any of these numbers. Last regular number I'm gonna tell you guys about before we get to the end of this video. 666, 666, 666, six. So it calls back with sounds. Uh, so when you call this number, supposedly, this is what I can get from the, a Google search of this number. You call it, nothing's there, right? So you, you hang up the phone, you hang up the phone. You hang up the phone, cat. She doesn't want me talking about this number. So you, you hang up the phone, right? Then over the next week or two, you start getting all these crazy phone calls. Heavy breathing have been heard, uh, strange sounds, messages you will die or heavy breathing well i wrote down heavy breathing twice because i guess there's different kinds of heavy breathing but you'll get the message you will die message you'll get heavy breathing messages throughout the next week or two and uh that that sounds pretty scary to me not, not to her all right now these are the numbers that kind of freak me out uh there's quite a few of them. I'm just going to give you guys a handful. Um, but there's quite a few of them. They call these red numbers. And uh, you can locate them on the dark web. Not the web that we use. Not the Google. Not none of this. If you don't know what the dark web is, don't really go looking into it too much. It's just the unregulated internet. You know, we all live up here on the top surface of the internet there is a sub version of the internet that no governments in the world actually control and anything is legal. Everything is legal. You usually have to use torrent sites to get there. Um, my advice is stay away from the dark web. You're more than likely going to mess up your computer, get viruses and stuff like that. It's a, it's the wild west basically. But on our internet, on the, surface internet where we all live and breathe and enjoy Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus and all the fun stuff, YouTube, uh, you can still get information about some of these red numbers. Uh, from my understanding, these numbers uh, originate from India, China, Germany, France, the United States, all over the world. If you get a phone call from any of these numbers, I'm going to give you three of them, but there are numerous ones. If you see this, any of these numbers, pull up on your phone. Do not answer. Whatever you do, do not answer. And from what I can tell is do not try calling these numbers neither. They're called red numbers for a reason. I just don't know what the reason is. Um, so what these numbers do is uh, they emit a sound. So when you call the number or you get a phone call from these numbers, they emit a sound through the microphone, whether you're wearing earbuds or whatever, that uh, can cause brain hemorrhage. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do it if you call the numbers, but I wouldn't want to play with it because if you call the number and then a red number calls you back and it emits this sound, um, yeah. Who wants a brain hemorrhage for Christmas? That's not the type of thing you want to open up in a box. Wrapped in a bow. Is it, cat? Is it? So here's a couple of the numbers, red numbers that I have found. Now, like I said, you can search the dark web and pull up lots of these numbers. I just pulled a couple of them. Uh, the more random ones that seem to at least on the surface of the internet uh, are readily available. So uh, I would not call these if I was you, but that's just me, unless you want a very red Christmas. 988830 
8001. That's one number. 9316048121. That's another number. 9888854137. That's another number. That's a that's, that's another number, cat. Numbers you should not call or answer. Anyway, this is my holiday cheerful video for you guys. A present from me to you. I'd give you this if I could. I'd give you her if I could. All right, I hope this season finds you and fills you with good cheer. No depression. It's not the time of season to be depressed. I know the news and everybody else says this is the time of year where depression is the worst. It's the worst. You don't need to be depressed. And if you are, call one of these numbers. Just avoid the red numbers. My su any suggestions, that's my suggestion. The one with the Sudoku in Japan, avoid that number because that's just scary. And any of these red numbers, avoid those. If you guys have any phone numbers or anything like that, or aware of any crazy cursed numbers, down in the description below, leave the numbers. Maybe somebody will call. If you have called any of these numbers or any supposed curse numbers and have survived, leave in the comments below and, and, and let us all know the experiences that you came across trying any curse numbers. As for me, I plan on seeing another Christmas. I'm not going to be calling any of them. So until the next time, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys hopefully next holiday season. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll probably before then. That's 12 months away. Peace out, everybody.